Okay, today is uh, July 16th, 2019. And we're going to talk today a little bit about the Golden Eagle at Connell High School. When I was a kid and how it got there. And when I was a young man, I was with a guy named Cliff Michael and Perry Wilson. They were kind of locals from the Othello area, Basin City area. And we ran cattle. My dad ran cattle out in the Atomic Energy Commission. And one day I was with Cliff and Perry, and they were both drunk. And they were building the uh, power line from his, we called it the shack, from there across uh, the Atomic Energy. And as we are going across the dusty road, both Perry and Cliff being drunk, and Cliff was driving, they had to stop and go to the bathroom, and they did that, and they were laughing, and there was a bird sitting on, it looked like about that big at the time, it was a long ways away, and Cliff Michael pulled out a 250 3000 Savage, a rifle, and he was holding it like this, trying to, and he pulled the trigger, and that bird went, thunk. And I went back on my motorcycle later on, and I picked up that bird, and it was a big, huge golden eagle. I put it in the deep freeze, and Mother, you remember how long did it sit in the deep freeze? Well, a long time, and I got sick of it in there, and, and had to move it around and find what meat I wanted and everything, and, and it was always doing something like when you was little, bringing pollywogs in the bathtub and all kinds of stuff. And so she told me, she says, get rid of that darn thing, and, and I, I don't, I'm tired of it being in the deep freeze. So I, I took the eagle, and a, a friend of mine in high school was learning taxidermy, and he stuffed it for me, and he charged me $10. And I don't know where I got to $10 to pay him, but I paid him, and we hung it in the basement in the house in Pasco, right? Oh, yeah, we lived in Pasco. We lived in Pasco at the time, and we had a big yeah. basement, and Dad had a wet bar down there. Yes. Yeah. And we hung it in the basement, and it, it was a big, huge, beautiful eagle, wasn't it? Oh, it was, yes, it was pretty. But to me, it was just an, another big bird that I, they, he told me that, you know, you wasn't supposed to, to have one, and that upset me to no end. <laughs> so Dad had a party. He liked to have parties down there in the basement. Because uh, he had a wet bar and... And we danced a lot down there, too. Yep, they danced. Um, and just that happened to be at that party, he invited some game wardens. And one of them, or two of them, I don't, re I don't remember. But anyway, they saw that eagle hanging there. And the next day, or so, whatever, maybe a few days yeah, later... No, I don't remember that. That was later. They came, knocked at the door. Mom was home, and Dad and I weren't home. And they took the eagle. And, of course, they questioned me afterwards, and I, I told them the story. And the game department took the eagle, and they gave it to Connell High School. And yes, that is yes. that is how yeah. Connell High School got that eagle. Absolutely it is. I remember that very, very, very well. So if anybody tells you a story, anything yes. other than that. It's not a story, because I remember it. <laughs> So, and even though she's 93 I years old. I say, I might be old, but I can still remember. Her mind is as sharp as a tick. And yeah. uh, I guess the overall picture is it's, it's good that they took it away and gave it to the high school because through the years, yeah, there's been many it, kids that go through school yeah, and so saw that eagle. And um, we, When we moved after that and whatnot, and it just would have, you know, got destroyed anyway, probably, and through ages and... So it's probably better like, like it is. Somebody's yeah. enjoying it then. So uh, there you have it. That's the true story yeah. of the Eagle at Connell High School in Connell, Washington. Yep. Thanks oh, boy, for watching. That's that sure the truth. <laughs>